have to just get that love in my heart and tell you how I feel about this particular product. Trini Girl Natural. Hi everyone, welcome to my channel. Happy end of 2018, I guess. I don't know how y'all feel about it. But for us YouTubers, this is when we get to do our year-end videos, which are my favorite, most fun videos to do. And I guess you guys like them the most too. In this video, I'm telling you what my favorite products are as of 2018. So some of them are old loves, some of them are new loves, but they're all loves. So if you see a million reviews and you just want to know which ones are the best, these are the products that are the best for my hair. So again, I'm going to go in order from shampoos down to, I guess, finishing sprays or something. My two shampoo bays right now, Baskin Bloom Gentle Herbal Cleanser and Blue Rose Beauty Cocoa Rose Creamy Shampoo. So what I love about both of these is that they're gentle and that they're moisturizing, but that they really cleanse my hair. So, you know, if I haven't washed my hair in a little while, <laughs> I know I can use either one and they can set me right. So I've been using this pretty much all summer and it's been keeping my hair in really good shape and I really love this as well. You can pretty much detangle with it. Both of them you can pretty much detangle. This one feels like almost like it's a co-wash, it's that softening but it's also cleansing and this one is super moisturizing. You can tell I love both, right? Both of them to me just do the thing. They're cleansing, moisturizing, great slip. This one even like defines your curls, I don't even... Girl, they're good. So either one of these if you're looking for cleansing, moisturizing shampoo. The ingredients. I have like the Kinky Curly Come Clean and a couple other shampoos that I kind of use if I want to clarify, but that hardly happens because I don't use silicones, don't use a lot of butters and I mean I use some products with butters, but I don't use a lot of heavy products. So usually these are pretty much enough for me. So after shampoos come co-washes and I guess I'm kind of cheating here because like I can't not mention them because I like all of them. So I'm going to start with the real Bay Bay Bay, which is the Camille Rose Caramel Co-Wash. So this one is everything. Like this is my perfect co-wash. It perfectly cleanses my hair, perfectly moisturizes my hair, perfectly conditions my hair. Like I could probably just use this and then go. Like use it, rinse and go. Just like that. Wash and go right there, you know, because it's just so everything. So if you haven't tried this, get your life. This is the co-wash the co-wash and I do have reviews of a lot of these including this and the two I mentioned before on my channel so be sure to like search through my channel for reviews and demos on all of these pretty much yeah bae right so this is it the numero uno but I couldn't not mention my other co-washes because I love co-washes so much my other bays <laughs> are these three <laughs> I'm trying to show them all at once so they could kind of tie um, blueberry co-wash as you know is my staple so I tend to get some variation with this one based on the batch so some are foam more than others so the ones that foam more are a little more cleansing the ones that foam less are a little more moisturizing but either way it's a great amount of cleansing and moisturizing either it's a little more cleansing or it's a little more moisturizing but it's still kind of near the balance so I love this and this is my staple this is the one I usually just reach for in fact I love the Camille Rose Caramel Co-Wash so much I hardly use it because I'm like saving it I know for what so definitely gonna use it more in 2019 I actually got I have like at least four of these so I can afford to use it more since I don't see them on the ground I tend to like save them like not use them but I have enough now to use comfortably and then this one the green tea and ginseng co-wash which I tried recently I think it was in my summer stash and I really loved it so it's a little bit lighter and a little more moisturizing a little less cleansing I guess than the blueberry co-wash but my hair just felt so light and clean and moisturized. I really had a fun time using this. Plus, of course, green tea and ginseng are great ingredients for the hair and scalp. So, definitely will be repurchasing. Definitely love this as well. And the Blue Rose Soap Berry Co Wash. I love this. Let me see. Let me count the ways. <laughs> of course, you know, moisturizing, cleansing. I don't know. It just feels amazing. I don't know how to explain it to you guys, but it's love. It's light, but cleansing, but moisturizing. <laughs> Um, I love it. So I usually pick up this anytime she has a good sale for Black Friday, I'll get me some of these. So next we have conditioners and I renamed this segment conditioners I use as leave-ins because as you guys know I don't really like to use my pricey conditioners as rinse outs. I leave that to the cheapy drugstore conditioners, which I might mention if we get if we have time at the end of this video. But in that category, I have the She Scented Pomegranate and Pear Quenching Conditioner. 
I love this as a leave-in. It's moisturizing and gives you a nice definition as well. If you guys saw my upside down wash and go, be sure to check it out. I also love that she said the papaya conditioner is a leave-in, but I don't have that one with me. So next we have deep conditioners. And again, I have a lot of days in deep conditioners. There's so many great deep conditioners out there, but these are the best. What makes them the best, you might be wondering? As soon as I put it on, my hair feels heavy because it's sucked in all the moisture. My curls feel plump and juicy. That's me. And that's the ones I'm gonna describe right now. So yes, the moisture, the slip, the softness, everything is there, but these suck all the moisture into my curls. So the first category is basically just everything she sent it. You guys know I love she sent it, and pretty much all of her deep conditioners do that for me. I have the rich moisture and pomegranate and pear on hand, so I'm just gonna show you these two. But if you buy any she sent deep conditioner, you're setting yourself up for a really good time. And I love them all. <laughs> I have the Curl Moist too, always this one's kind of finished, but yeah. They all give me that reaction of plump, hydrated, juicy curls. The one that comes closest to passing, she sent it, and honestly, it could have passed, she said, and I need to do some kind of side-by-side -side to let you guys know, is the Curl Origin. So I have this Maracuja Deep Recovery Conditioner, and I absolutely love it. It's just as hydrating as the She Said the Deep Conditioners, but it's a little richer and creamier and a little goes a longer way. When we purchase Best of 2018, and I do think this is going to be around for a really long time in these yearly videos. If I tell you I may even like it more than the She Said the Deep Conditioners, those of you who subscribe to my channel know there's some serious stuff right there. <laughs> I haven't tried the overnight mask yet. Definitely my bad, mia culpa. And I will try it next year and have it for you guys. Definitely buy the summer stash flashback. And then, of course, I had to mention Baskin Bloom and Sultanicals. Both of these, and not just this one, I love the repair mask from Sultanicals as well, and a couple others. So I can reach for this, and within five minutes, I can rinse out because my hair is amazing. So that's what I love about this, and pretty much everything that I mention here, of course. And of course, uh, you know, great ingredients are given. The ingredients on this is kind of blurry, so I'm not even gonna do it to myself. But let me show you the ingredients on this. So after deep conditioners, we have leave-ins for real. And of course, my favorite right now is the Sultanicas Frisbee leave-in. So I just love this leave-in. It has this amazing texture. You can feel like a slight hole. You can feel the moisture. You can feel the crazy slip. It can get you right, set you right, no matter what's going on in your life. So this is my number one day. <laughs> Show you the ingredients. But I definitely also love this Bakura Honey Latte. I just picked up some more for Black Friday, so I'm really excited about that. This also, you know, moisturizes, defines, feels great, but it's also super lightweight, which I love. So anytime I can get big fluffy curls, love. This is like my second bay. <laughs> and this one I also mentioned, I used it yesterday, so this is in my hair right now, and I absolutely loved it. The Inasi Aloe Hibiscus Leave-In. My hair just felt super moisturized, so overall I had a moisturizing wash day, but this was the moisture icing on the moisture cake. Yeah, if you follow me on Instagram, you already know, like, my curls look so frizz free and everything. So it could have been just a fluke, you know, season change, for a combination, because like I said, I used the co-wash in this line, so I was proud of Curly VC and then this, but some magic happened yesterday, and this was involved, so I gotta mention it, and I'm gonna use it again, and kind of give you guys some feedback soon. Some of my subbies were saying that this is great, so I shouldn't doubt it, but my first response, first reaction was yes, great. And the bonus miracle discovery of 2018 is the Camille Rose Honey Hydrate. So the funny thing is I've had this since 2017, but in 2018 I figured out how to use it. So this doesn't really work for me in wash and goes. When I put this in like a twist out or braid out, my hair stays moisturized forever, for weeks, like it just keeps my hair moisturized like nothing else in this world. So this is its own new category of longest lasting moisture leave-in or something. This. I'm definitely gonna keep repurchasing this and it's always gonna have a special place in my stash as that I need to do a protective style and get that, keep that moisture in for a long time. I don't wanna struggle. My hair is past week two <laughs> and I need a save. This is for that. So the ingredients are pretty simple. So, it might even be something you consider DIYing. 
I just don't like to put honey in like leave-in DIYs like I'm just worried it's gonna be sticky and you know worried I'll get into trouble like so I don't know so I might try that but I definitely loved it and this wowed me and this was my equivalent of run out of the room screaming for 2018. You're welcome. <laughs> I'm moving right along to creams, so I always have to give a disclaimer for creams that I really don't use creams often enough to really have an opinion on like what is the best and so on. But I can just tell you what I've been using lately that I liked. And definitely this she scented moisturizing yogurt was everything for 2018. So it's light, but it's defining and moisturizing. And it's super light and fluffy. I definitely enjoyed using this. I want to say this was my favorite cream of 2018. These are the ingredients. So this is the new, I believe it came out this year. Loved it. And you guys know I also did like a wash and go with Justice Curling Jelly. And it definitely did the thing for me in terms of like moisture, soft hold and definition. I feel like it has more hold than the yogurt, uh, she said the yogurt. And it's also kind of like a heavier consistency as you can see. So if you're looking for something a bit heavier, maybe you can try this one. But if you're looking for light, then try this one. And I think I want to say this one could be more moisturizing, but you know, I haven't done a side by side or anything. So light moisture, this one, moisturizing, soft hold, this one. And I'm still going to include my staple, which is the Camille Rose Naturals Aloe Whip Butter Gel. This just gets me where I'm going anytime I need a bit of extra moisture or softness. I usually use it as a seal, like in winter and stuff, just to give me an extra bit of moisture and seal in my leave-in and stuff. As you can tell, it's well loved <laughs> and it smells amazing and I love the texture too. It's not too heavy, not too light. There are a lot of creams I like. I like pretty much any cream I ever tried, to be honest. So I'm a horrible person to tell you what the best creams are, to be honest. I can tell you what the best everything else is. I just need to work on creams. And you know, you saw I started doing a lot of braid outs and some braid outs and twist outs and stuff this year. So if that trend continues next year, then by the end of next year, hopefully, I'll be more informed and better able to tell you. Let me talk about treatments. This Curl Original Reparative Conditioner is my new bay for protein treatments. It definitely did the thing. I feel like it was closer to Afro-G or stronger than the other natural protein treatments I've tried. She said the Okra Reconstructor used to be my bay, but it's not even a comparison. Like how with the deep conditioners, it was kind of close. Curl Origin might have had a slight edge. Curl Origin definitely won the day for protein treatment. This is one of those videos that I have for you guys and I really need to like edit it and put it out there. Loved it. My curl snapped back. The shrinkage was real after, which for me is a sign that it worked. But it was super moisturizing as well. So moisturizing and gives you that dose of protein. Definitely my babe, my one and only favorite protein treatment. 2018 and beyond. <laughs> and then this is my favorite tea treatment, my Blue Rose Chai Hair Tea. So I really can tell that this helps with my shedding and it's also moisturizing and has great slip. So I just use it as a regular deep conditioner when I want to reduce some shedding a bit. And these are the ingredients. And those are pretty much the two treatments that I use. Occasional protein and this occasional tea. And I guess I do clay sometimes but I really just DIY my clay because yeah, I don't need to pay back. My clay treatment is really nice. Check out my clay treatment video to get on it. <laughs> As for gels, you guys already need to see my gels. It's usually the same list. Kinky Curly, Camille Rose Naturals, Uncle Funky, Caravela, Baskin Bloom. Um, other than that, I'm using my DIY gel. I haven't even tried many gels this year. I have the Trilux gel to try soon, probably next weekend. And I also have the Brother Brothers gel that I did try to kind of give you guys a review on. So let me know if you want to see that. And as I am gel, curly jelly, I also really, it loves my hair, so I need to just give up and love it back. It's one of those things where like the ingredients may not have been exactly what I wanted, but soft, moisturized, long-lasting wash and go, as I am curly jelly, is also on that list. I don't buy it often. It's kind of like a redhead stepchild, but I've got to give Jackie's jacket on that one. So other than that, you've seen these before, I guess. <laughs> you know, just going to quickly, pinky curly, Camille Rose. Caravada, Baskin Bloom. So the Uncle Funky isn't really my favorite just because it feels a little weird on my hair. Like when I use these four and the As I Am, my hair just, I love it. I know I'm just in love. And when I use the Uncle Funky, yeah, it's looking good, you know, but 
I can't really, I'm not twirling, I'm just totally in love like when I use these other four. So that's why these are like, I dug them out <laughs> and the Alga Funky is in the stash somewhere. But it is on the list too, I'll give it, I'll give it the list. It, it deserves to be on the list because my hair is soft and moisturized and my wash and go last. The sprays are the same as 2017. I'm liking the Sotanicals hair sorrel, which I just find really moisturizing, but also, you know, helps to control frizz and smooth your cuticle and everything. And this revitalizing leave in which really helps to seal in moisture and definitely controls frizz. So this one I definitely need to control frizz. I'm on this one. If I just want some nice hydration, I'm on this one. But they both do a little bit of both. So I've been trying to stop using this just because of the polyquartz, but I've given up on trying to hate this one. So I'm gonna keep it in my life because I like it. I use refresher sprays to just, you know, mist a little bit after wash and go. And both of these, like you know, they 10 or wherever and both of these got the job done for that i'm done best of 2018 yeah i hope you guys had a great 2018 i hope you guys have the best december 2018 and the best 2019 so let me know which of these products you like or which of these brands you like or what your favorite products are down below let's talk products let's talk holiday season happy holidays and see you down below and in the next one <laughs> bye